Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Today we're headed over to our new road that we're constructing and we've got loads of gravel coming out today. I had a little bit of equipment trouble yesterday when I was running the skid loader. All of a sudden, the engine wouldn't run and I couldn't figure out what in the world was going on. So I called my neighbor who works for the uh, rock quarry and he works on all this equipment. So I told him, hey man, here's what's going on. Whenever I lunge forward, the engine dies and sputters and dies. So he said it's the fuel filter. It's a pretty easy change. So we're gonna go over here today. I'll show you, we got some loads of rock coming in. I'll show you that. And we'll show you how to change a fuel filter on the skid loader. It's another day on the farm. So come on along with us guys. Let's go have some fun out here in the woods. What a beautiful day. Folks, here sits the skid loader all alone, way on the other side of the farm. I'm gonna open that door right there, open her up, and we'll put a new fuel filter on there. I'll show you how to do it. So as with anything, guys, I always put myself in a darn time crunch, so I have to be in such a big hurry. Early this morning, my wife hit a deer at about 5.30 in the morning. I had to go rescue her from the deer hit. Basically took her truck around to some body shops and got some estimates. So I think we're gonna put a little bit of sweat equity into it, since I got a $1,000 deductible. I gotta take care of part of it myself. And we'll show you some of that as we get it done. But first, let's work on this skid steer. I've never done this before, so just bear with me. So there are several filters down here on the skid loader. This is our hydraulic filter, oil filter, our fuel pump, and this is our fuel filter, okay? Whenever you're working with diesel fuel, whenever you're working with diesel engines, the pressure is up to like 1200 PSI, so it can cut your hand off, okay? So you gotta be really careful when you're dealing with this. So folks, what you need to know is on this side of the fuel system, this is the low pressure side. I'm gonna crack this bleeder valve, and this is what you use to drain the water out of the fuel. I'm gonna let that drip a little bit, and it's dripped into the cup. Then we're gonna remove our fuel filter. Now, it just so happens that the fuel filter wrench that I have, one of them's too big and the other one is too small. So I gotta get a medium sized one, I guess. But we're gonna just try to take it off with our hands. Okay, so it's slowly coming off. I'm gonna loosen it up. It's gonna be full of fuel, so you gotta be careful. We're gonna loosen her up. Okay, so I've got my fuel filter here. Doesn't seem to be too awful gross. Here's our new fuel filter and we want to fill this with diesel fuel. So we're just going to pour a little diesel fuel in there. Hopefully very carefully. Whoop! A little diesel fuel on your hand never hurt you. We want to make sure we've got a good bead of fuel around our little rubber gasket here. Slip it back into place and screw our new filter on. Now since we weren't prepared and we didn't bring a rag because we weren't very smart, we're gonna use our pants leg as a rag. Then we'll tighten this guy up. All right, now let's fire her up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cycle the key about four times to make sure I'm building up fuel pressure correctly. I may not need to do this, but that's what I'm gonna do. Let's give her a shot. Here's our key and here our fuel pump engage. Turn it off. Sounds good. So the first time I turned it on, I felt the fuel pump kind of engage. Now let's give her a shot. Let's turn her on. So what I'm looking for now is leaks. I'm gonna let it idle for a little bit, like medium idle. Let that fuel pick up. My neighbor who's a mechanic told me that it's normal for it to sputter a little bit sometimes since you've drained the fuel system, but it's picking up fuel good. We did a good job. So that's how you change a fuel filter on a skid loader. Bet you learned something today. So guys, let's talk about how a skid loader works. These are my two sticks. I push these forward and I go straight forward. I push them in different directions. Like if I push the left forward and pull the right back, it twists and vice versa. So it just kind of drives whichever way I point it. My left foot, the bucket raises and lowers the boom 
This is called a boom. On the right foot, it tilts. It tips my bucket this way and that way, okay? Now there's a little switch on this controller right here and sometimes a switch over here. There's a switch to run your secondary hydraulics, which is this right here. In case you wanna put a mower, a post hole digger, or a post driver, which is what we're gonna use soon with this skid loader. So let's fire it up. I'll show you how those things work. I'm gonna idle up and use my left foot. So that's my left foot going up and down. And this is my right foot. So you have a comfortable ballet dance. So you got a comfortable ballet dance here that you have to figure out. If you don't get this figured out, I'll show you. This thing will beat you to death. Okay, it will beat you to death. Let's see how she does. Looking good. So the guy just called and said the gravel is on the way. He's supposed to be here at two o'clock. This guy is on point. It's 1.10. He's getting here a little bit earlier than I thought he would, so I've got a little less time to get my work done. What I gotta do is take the gator back to the house, go grab the tractor, bring it over here, so when he puts his gravel out, I can take the scrape blade and smooth out the gravel. And also, we've got a spot up here where we're getting field dirt, and we're going back in, filling this road in so that when you drive down it, you're not leaning this way. And that's what we were doing for our day of solace. That's what we were doing yesterday. We're out here doing that, taking it easy, enjoying the day, and then I had a breakdown. It's just part of farming, guys, and if you don't know how to fix stuff on your own or have resources, we gotta figure it out. It's awesome, I'm proud of myself. Do something to make yourself proud today. So guys, we're gonna get a little gravel here. The gravel truck's already here, and Mr. Manuel's coming. Mr. I'd like you to meet Mr. Manuel. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Hispanic work population here in America, and I just want you to meet Mr. Manuel. Come on over here, bud. I <laughs> gotcha, you thought he was Spanish. Hola, senor. He's not Spanish. No. Look at that red hair, come on. Irish. It is Mr. Manuel though. Woo! So folks, where this seems like something simple and easy, it really isn't simple and easy. I'll show you the gravel truck here. Now the gravel truck has to go right down this road right here and this is really, really soft. And something you may not know about one of these big trucks, these big trucks get stuck so super easy. They're very, very heavy. So. We're gonna follow him down. He's gonna go out, turn around, and come back. I don't know if it's gonna work all right or not. He may sink up. We got a tractor, we'll see. So you can see how the tires are digging in. Seems pretty good. Very tight through here. Now my bridge is fairly narrow and he's gonna have to go across this bridge fairly fast to climb up that hill on the other side. Let's see how he does. Better hit it. There he goes, did good. Now another element you have to think about here is the tilt. That truck is very top heavy. So if he goes at too far of an angle, he could tip the truck over. These are just a few of the things that get your heart a pounding here on the farm. I don't want this guy to get stuck and make a huge mess. I don't want to have to pull him out and he doesn't want to be stuck either. He's got a few loads of rock to bring me today. You know what's funny when you're a kid and you go play in the mud on your four wheeler or on your ATV or UTV or in your truck, it's all fun. It's all neat and fun. When you got a farm and you got land, it's not fun anymore. Well, it's still fun, but it's a lot more work and it tears up your land. So. As much as I want to go splashing through that mud puddle back there, I got to behave, take care of business. I give you a lot of detail in this stuff because I want you to know really what's going on in the thought processes here in the old chicken head. So this area right here is where we're going to be parking. I want him to start right here because this gravel doesn't spread very well. He sets the truck to a certain width and he dumps back and he takes off with it and that spreads the gravel out. Go, 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 go. So the whole load dumped right here, which is not what I wanted. You should have gone faster. Farm drama. <laughs> so we're gonna have to cut the vlog short, guys. I've gotta spread this, okay? This pile right here should have gone all the way up and around that corner. A little bit so I was trying to wave him to go faster go faster but I don't think he saw me so so I'm gonna say this rock is somewhere in a neighborhood of about 8 to 12 inches deep which is not I mean it's great for the road and the wallet 
<laughs> so I'm gonna get busy, scrape all this out, get the tractor, get to work. They'll be back in an hour with another load and we'll get busy, get rocking with it. Thanks a lot for watching the farm vlog today, guys. I appreciate you. Click that like button, click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow us along on our journey here on the farm. Today, we're working on the road. It's a lot of work on this road, so uh, you've got a lot of vlogs going on about it. Up there, we'll build our cabin. You can follow along with that. Just learn a little bit, see how things are done. So let's go grab the tractor, start fixing this mess. Woo! We'll come on down to the stone.